What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Rio Jossi. Uh, give me that. I'm, <laughs> I'm Peter Parkour, and we are the Distorted Theorist. And we are at Cineplex in St. John's, Newfoundland, right now, right outside the theater, literally just stepped out from the Marvels. Um, if you're joining us today and you do enjoy the content on the channel, as always, we ask if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let us know if you've seen this movie and what you thought. And on that note, Peter, take it away. What are you thinking? I'm not gonna lie. I, I got a big grin on my face because <laughs> both do. this is probably the biggest surprise for a Marvel yeah. movie in a long time. Like, in terms, like, I'm very happy, very happy with the movie, loved it, it was silly, it was it was funny, it was good, it was emotional, it had all these beats that were hitting on and, right and then most. it did turn up the seriousness when like, you least things needed to happen to me. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, 100%. And um, I mean, we, we discussed before when in this movie, you know, the reviews are starting to roll out before ours, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of thumbnails were looking like very shoddy and I was like, uh oh, are we in trouble here? Even though IGN gave it a solid eight, um, but... But they're not the BL end No, no, we the are. distorted theorists are. Um, but I, I had a feeling, we've been talking about this all week, that this movie looked like it couldn't be bad via trailers. Um, so I went in with high expectations, but that was just me, I don't know. My, my thing with, with it is, and maybe it's just because I don't watch a ton of TV mm. anyways, and I've tried to stay off the internet as much as I can because uh, y'all are really bad for spoilers. <laughs> oh man, um, this movie was bad for spoilers. But uh, it really seemed that the marketing for this one just seemed to kind of fall mm. flat from Disney's perspective. I'm not saying they did, yeah. but considering some of the bigger films that we've seen for Guardians, for Spider-Man yeah. No Way Home, for Shang-Chi, obviously Avengers Endgame and Infinity yeah. War, the amount of marketing that went into those was insane. It was massive. And it seemed like the Marvels were almost an afterthought. Yeah. So I, that's why I figured that even Disney might not it, have... It could have went either way. Yeah. It was concerning. Um, Disney which, might not even have the... Had the, the um, I'm trying to think of the word there, the, the hope that it would do well anyway, so like just, just kind of push it out. Yeah, and which is very strange because when you get down to a movie like this and you're, you get these reviews ahead of time from, from the hype people or, mm. or the early viewers, whatever, um, it's, it's a shame that they're probably going to have a review editor that some of you have already watched that you, you may deter you from coming out from this movie. But I think we are both here to tell you, go see this go see the movie. It is a fantastic movie. But enough about us waxing melodic about the movie. We got to get into the, actually the nitty gritty part of it. So obviously, who's in this movie? We've got Iman Vellani from Ms. Marvel is making her return. Brie Larson is back as Captain Marvel. And... <laughs> is returning <laughs> Monica as, Rambo. is Monica Rambo, aka Photon, who <sighs> I, it's a bit of a spoiler, but not nothing big. Uh, doesn't actually get a name in the movie, which was dirty because they all worked together so so well. The <coughs> chemistry was there, <coughs> and I love how they actually very clearly identified again, not a spoiler, very clearly identified each of the powers of each woman and how what they brought to the table that made them unique from the other one and of course even though they the were the same but different yeah same but different but also when we get that superhero team up uh which was in the trailers um it just feels that much more big as if you are putting three powers together as one mm. and i thought that was really cool um visually the, the movie was stunning i mean you're getting so many landscapes so many different planets etc i mean it, let's call space beta it takes what 90% in space. So you're just getting like so many cool color palettes across the whole thing. Um, Samuel Jackson, Sean is, is Nick Fury. Uh, I didn't even realize bit, he was going to be in this so much. Yeah, it was almost to the point of being campy, but again, it was a nice uh, departure from the really serious nature of Secret Invasion. Yeah. And some of his Which other uh, roles, roles in the Marvel Universe anyway. So again, it was a kind of a chance for him to be a little bit goofy. Yeah. And like I said, the movie was goofy in the right spots. It was a very fast movie. The movie is not very long. It's only about no. 90, 96 minutes. But you know what though? I have to speak on that, that I was actually, I felt that, I felt that I was actually hanging on every scene of this movie. Mm. I wanted to know what comes next. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Ant-Man and Quantumania, for example, uh, Thor Love and Thunder, for example, even Wakanda Forever, for example, when I was sat there, there was How many examples like, do you Oh, have? I got a lot. Um, I was just like sat there being like, okay, let's get to the next part, please. Like, you know what mm. I mean? I wasn't, I wasn't, excited as where this one I was just like predicting trying to get what's coming next what's coming next what's coming next mm. and I was kind of looking at you like is Peter looking at the same things I'm looking at but I mean but those are all positives obviously not every movie is perfect what is some of the uh, negatives that you came out of this with if you had to pick one even uh, well again when you've got a movie that's so heavy 
uh, heavily uh, relying on the visual effects. Mm. We're getting, it's a lot. It's again, mm. much like uh, Quantum Mania, yeah. much like The Flash was, Thor Love and Thunder, it just gets to a point where you're like, oh my <laughs> God. But again, when where that sh like where that kind of pokes through and you mm. see the little bit of nastiness, it's still the the cast of characters is what kind of ties it together, and you almost kind of forget about it. So f let me use an example. Sure. Oh, so you, oh, you got an example. I do. I have okay, an example. Right. It's not even related Listen to Marvel. No. So go ahead. <coughs> go ahead. So in an upcoming feature of the Disordered Theorist, I myself are going to be starting doing uh, reviews on other movies, and mm -hmm, one that mm -hmm. I recently watched, and you're going to see a video on this soon, is Blade Runner 2049. Mm -hmm. Amazing movie. It's two and a half hours long. It is Sheesh. not a fun movie. It's a great movie. It's not a fun movie because there's long, dramatic mm. pauses, mm. a big, long cityscapes. It works for that type of movie, mm. but when the Marvel, when you're doing a comic book movie and everything like that, not everything needs to explode or everything, but you don't need to have these long, like, <laughs> Expositions, we'll call them. Dramatic pause, you yeah. don't need that, which you do get in some films, which yeah. did work for certain things, like Winter Soldier or anything yeah. like that. If you had anything that was introspective and looking up in, within a character, but for the goofiness of Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, uh, Photon, yeah. all these things, yeah. it does work for it. Too. Well, it was almost like, uh, this is gonna be a real big breach, but it was almost like on a sine wave, it was like action and mm. story and, okay, a little law and then story and action and, and rinse and repeat. Mm. Um, Too bad it wasn't on a Coase wave, that would be really I different. I don't know what that is, but I had one example and I used sine wave, okay? Um, the negative that I would like to put forward, I know you love this part. Uh, there was a middle section, I'll call it a musical number. Didn't really grab me, you loved it, I know. Loved um, it. And then the part, again, I'm just trying to dance around spoilers, the part where a uh, an attack happens on a planet, I'll call it that. Um, also, did like I don't know, it was too cha -cha 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 stuff going everywhere, and I was like, I'm not really following. Do I care? Not really. That's the only negative part I could really come up with. Other than that, I mean, me and you spoke a few times in the movie, which we usually don't talk as much. We, as we were, did, but we, were we had theorizing. to converse. We were just like, rup, rup, we, yeah, we were distorted theorizing. Um, but before we take this one out. Stay around for the end credit scene. If you're going Please. to see this movie, stick around. Please. It's not an end credit scene. There's nothing at the very end of There is a mid credit scene after, yeah, after all the. Sorry. Well, you, you, okay, you, you, fair you enough. Gotta fair wait. enough. There is one credit scene. Wait for it. Watch it. Yep. It is worth it. It is the turning point <laughs> of the MCU. I've been calling it for two years. And but you didn't no, call like, it on this one. But, <laughs> but, you, but you know what? Um, I'm not gonna lie, the last like what 15 minutes of the movie leading right past the credits to that mid credit scene, stick around. I don't care if you're having the worst time at this movie ever, stick around for the last 15 minutes because it is game changer. Mm. Or at least I think so. Mm. I thought you said so. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you saw me pointing and. You did. <laughs> and you were joining in cheer with all the other people in mm. the theater. But I think from the bottom line for me, my perspective is go see the Marvels. It is dope. It is one of the best probably Marvel movies since I'm, I'm probably going back to No Way Home for me. So like, um, I'm, I'm going we've with... We've had some... It's, it's, the, it's the best one since Guardians. So, I mean, there hasn't been much you did since enjoy Guardians. Guardians. Uh, but Guardians, we knew was going to be good. Mm. We didn't know how this was going to go, mm. really and truly. So it's probably the biggest surprise for me um, since No Way Home, even though I knew that was going to be good too. But... It was, again, it, it's, it's a long time coming in from what I would consider, not flops, but a smattering of disappointments yeah. from Marvel. This is an uptick, in my opinion. Oh, an uptick. God, yes. So we're and where do we go track. from here? I don't know. We might not see the results of this for like 10 years, but you know what? It's gonna <laughs> theorizing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for our review, reaction, recap. Oh, well, wait, we didn't even give, we didn't give a rating. Oh, I was just going to breeze over that part this time. You need to good. Okay, what do you give it? I'm going to give it eight, eight and a half out of ten because it's around there. It's not perfect. It's not stellar. I would have said eight out of ten too. It's just one of those ones that I was I was happy enough to see, and I didn't look too deeply into it. And it was this is probably a pure comic book zazz movie. Can I? Yeah, you do. You do your thing. Thank you so much for joining us for our review, reaction, and recap of the Marvels. We had a blast. Hope you did as well. As always, if you enjoy the content on the channel, we do appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave us a comment down below if you've seen the movie and give us your honest thoughts. And with that, I am the real Jossie. And I am scared of Justin Vustache. And like we always like to say around here, keep it real.